Hello. Today we're over here in the Darkmoon Ferry taking on Christoph von Fiesel. If you don't know where Christoph is, uh, you just take your port from um, from Stormwind or from Ogremar, uh to the Darkmoon Ferry, and he's located at 47.4862.35 inside the Darkmoon Ferry. We have a couple of strategies here today. One's using all robots, sort of like basically all little blings. And the, uh, the second strategy is just as effective. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we are against Christoph von Fiesel. I'm just using three little bling lookalikes. So I got little bling in, one, in the top slot and the second slot, inflation, extra plating, and make it rain on them. And then the clockwork gnome with metal fist, repair, and build turret. What can I do for you? Farewell. So there is a little bit of a strategy here on this. So you want to put up extra, or particularly in the second pet. But you want to put up extra plating on Sid at the beginning and then do the make it rain um, first and then follow that with inflation. That's going to get rid of his bubble pretty quick here. Okay, so here we don't want to put up the other make it rain right here because the next pet has a debuff that um, prevents a certain amount of damage. So we want to go ahead and, and use inflation here. Sid's going to be taken out and then the, the last round of inflation or a round of inflation is going to hit Mr. Pointy and we need that debuff on Mr. Pointy in order for our attacks from Little Bling to hurt him. Okay, so when he comes back we're going to continue with inflation. We'll bring in our second little bling. We'll cast Make It Rain. Fall that with Inflation. Okay, and so Mr. Pointy goes down there. So now when Otto comes in, um, we're only going to have really one opportunity here. So I'm going to go ahead and cast Make It Rain. Or in this case, we had two uh, opportunities, but we just want to get Make It Rain on there because the next pet coming in is... Um, is going to need some help. So when we, first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a turret. Then we're going to hit him with a metal fist. And then we're going to hit him with a metal fist again, and that'll wrap it up. So there's a lot of other strategies for this particular fight. It's, there's, you know, any mechanical pet, it's particularly Iron Starlets against Christoph von Fies will make it pretty, pretty simple. Um, but that's the strategy that I use with all three little bling lookalikes. Okay, so here we are with the second strategy. The first strategy I think is just kind of funny because you're using all the same little robots. This strategy is actually a little bit more consistent, I guess. Um, we're going to use a Crimson Whelpling with Tail Sweep, Scorched Earth, and Lift Off, f followed with a Tranquil Mechanical Yeti with Metal Fist, Call Lightning, and Ion Cannon. And the fourth pet can be really anything, but... I'm using the handy with Chop, Rebuild, and Omni Pubble. But any pet that is strong against a beast is um, will work in that third Good slot. Day. So when we start this off, we want to do this in a very specific order. We're going to start off with Scorched Earth. We're going to follow that up with Tail Sweep. And then when this is on one round of cooldown, when Whirlpool's on one round of cooldown, we're gonna use lift off to avoid a lot of damage. Notice that Scorched Earth is still hitting Squid even though he has his bubble on. And then when, you come, when we come back down, one round of Tail Sweep will take out Sid. And that's all you need for Sid on that one. So when, you, um, when Mr. Pointy comes in, 
you're going to want to use uh, one round of scorched earth and then follow that with tail sweep depending on if you can get it all off or not. So if you get the tail sweep off fine, you're probably going to die after this particular round, but the whirlpool now is off cooldown. So at this point you bring in your tranquil mechanical yeti. And you might think you want to put one cast call lightning right off the bat, but you don't want to do that. You actually want to use metal fist here. And get get Mr. Pointy down quite a bit here. And even even here, go ahead and use metal fist here. You're going to come back, you're going to bring metal fist he's going to you're going to hit him with metal fist and you're going to take out Mr. Pointy. Now, when the last pet comes in, auto you want to use call lightning here which is going to do a quite a bit of damage and it's going to put on the the lightning storm if you can get ion cannon off go ahead and do it sometimes you're not going to be able to do that it's not a problem and so when mr when when handy comes in here you're going to start off with omni pummel And with the call lightning buff on there, it's going to do quite a bit of damage to Otto. A lot of times you'll already have him dead at this point because it does that. Um, he's oftentimes down quite a bit just from your tranquil mechanical yeti. Now you're going to use chop again here. He's going to hit you. It's okay. No problem. And in the last round, sometimes he's actually already dead, but the last round of chop will take out Otto. And that's, that's the two strategies that I use for, um, for uh, Christoph von Fiesel over in the Dark Moon Ferry. If, uh, we really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you and have a great day.